Now, what about running a third party application to automate the fabric using the NDFC RESTful APIs? If you remember, the previous section introduced you to NDFC and the standard REST API operations. This Swagger user interface offers the end user to use predefined API calls to post, get, or delete input parameters. For example, select a POST operation you want to execute. In this case, you wish to create a new network. And uh, instead of running the script using uh, the try it command, select example. As a result, the Swagger interface pops up a window with the required JSON code and the strings you need to replace with your requirements. Let's take a real use case. You are the network manager and you have been asked to deploy dozens of networks across several nodes, across several interfaces now. You know that you can do this using a DFC user interface, and we have seen this in uh, module two. And DFC is very easy to use to deploy a network across uh, leaf nodes and interfaces. That's not a problem. The question is here, how many clicks do you need to create dozens of uh, networks, right? So um, the guy asks you to deploy all these networks now, and you want to go faster than just doing hundreds of times uh, click, 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 with the risk of uh, making human mistakes. So you think that the best option to deploy hundreds of networks is to use an API management tool, right? However, you have zero experience with such programming tools. How to create multiple networks with a single push button? How to attach all networks and interfaces to all concerned switches in one action? And finally, you need to deploy all these networks. The best is to look at the demo. So if you want to impress your colleagues, uh, you can reproduce this easily. Believe me, you don't have to be a programmer expert. This video demonstrates how to leverage the API docs, the Swagger tools from NDFC to automate any Annex OS configuration using NDFC REST API calls. The goal is to create 20 new networks and to deploy them automatically to a pair of switches and attach them to a couple of uh, interfaces. Let's have a look at the existing networks to capture what is already deployed. Firstly, if you don't know how to build a JSON script to create a network, the NDFC embedded API docs is your friend. An exhaustive list of API calls using get, put, post, uh, delete is available across multiple collections of operations. Select create network under the uh, top down land network operations and open the example that displays a JSON script with all parameters to create a network. Do a copy and paste it into your preferred editor, such as uh, Atom. Return to the Swagger tools and repeat the same actions with Attach Network. Now you can replace the parameters you want to duplicate using different variables. These variables will be reused afterwards as many times as you need, such as fabric name, network name, network ID, VLAN ID, etc. You do this for both scripts. Now, when done, copy your scripts with your new variables. On your preferred API management tools, in this example, Postman, you create a couple of collections. In the body for the network creations, select the raw format and pass your preview script into the JSON tab. Repeat the same actions for the other scripts used to attach the network just created with the required switches and interfaces. And we have another script to deploy the configuration toward the switches. And we have a fourth collection for the authentication to start with. Now create a CSV file with all variables 
and with the corresponding values you need to push afterwards. In this example, you create 20 new networks with uh, the fabric name, VRF name, network names, network ID, default gateways, subnet mask, VLAN ID, etc. You can add hundreds of lines if you wish, one per new network. Save the CSV file, return to Postman, run the collections you just created. From the runner window, you need to select the CSV file with all the values associated to your variables. You can preview and check the variables are associated with the expected value. And you run it. It now authenticates, create a network, attach the network to the switches and interface of choice and deploy. It will run your script as many times as you added lines in your CSV file with, for each round, a new value for each variable. Notice the status return code 200 for success. In the meantime, return to NDFC network page and do a refresh. As a result, new networks are being created, attached and deployed step by step. You can apply a filter to view only the new networks. And after a minute or so, all 20 networks have been deployed. Open the network attachment tabs. Check that they have been deployed as expected to leaf node 3 and 4 in Fabric 2, as well as the interface E1 slash 17 to E1 slash 19. As simple as it looks like.